What's up guys, this is Jake with Casual Commerce, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your very first Google ad to go ahead and advertise your products on your e-commerce store. So the first thing we're going to need to do is head over to Google and then search for the keywords everywhere uh, Chrome extension and then you just need to add this to your Google Chrome once you get here, so I already have it so you'll just go ahead and install this and what this is going to do is show you the search volume for different keywords in google now google ads has their own um, keyword planner that does the same thing as well however it doesn't show you exact numbers unless you have an active campaign running and this shows you the search volume right here in google without having to open up the keyword planner so it's a little bit easier so we need this because we don't want to run any ads for keywords that aren't actively being searched for. So the difference between Google and advertising on social media is on social media, you're just trying to promote viral products and things of the sort. And on Google, we want to promote um, products and run ads to keywords that are actively being searched. So the first criteria for which product you want to go ahead and advertise on Google is going to depend on whether people are actively searching for it or not. So in this demonstration, we're going to just go ahead and choose a super popular product. So let's say I'm selling this gaming headset right here. So we'll use this for the demonstration. So if we were selling a gaming headset, first we would just want to search the very basic keyword so exactly what it is so gaming headset and we can see that 74,000 people per month search for um, the exact phrase gaming headset so that's a lot of volume so when it comes to Google anything over 10,000 per month is pretty good so if you have a term that's only like 500 per month you're probably not gonna get too many clicks but 74,000 per month is pretty good. So whenever you're looking for your keywords, try and make sure that the key, the main keyword rather has at least 10,000 um, searches per month. So this would be the main keyword gaming headset. But we want to find a couple additional keywords as well because sometimes just running an ad straight towards the main keyword might be a little too competitive. So one of the things you can do with Google is go for what we call long tail keywords, which is just essentially um, more detailed keywords that have to do um, with your keywords. So just more in depth. So it could be like gaming headset and we can use the auto suggest feature to help us out gaming headset. Uh, PC, gaming headset, Xbox One, gaming headset, PS4, and then certain brands and stuff like that. So these would be examples of longer tail keywords. Yep. Um, here we go. Gaming headset under 50, gaming headset under 100. And we can see that a lot of these keywords don't have a lot of volume, but we could batch them together into one campaign or another. So I just wanted to quickly show you how to do some keyword research really quickly and now we're going to go ahead and jump into creating uh, the ad itself so i'm in a demo google ads account here fresh account so this is what your account should look like as well when you get started and you're just going to click on campaigns and then you're going to click on new campaign and then we're going to create a search campaign because this is the most basic form of Google ad, which if we come back over here, the search ad is right here. So you can see these are the shopping ads and then this is the search ad right here, the where it says ad right next to it. So that's what we're gonna be creating. So what we're gonna do is just create a campaign with the sales goal and then we're gonna come down here and click on website visits. And then we'd have to put in our website here. So you would take your URL now this is just the demo store so i don't have an actual domain for this but you would put your actual domain in not the my shopify domain in there we'll put that in hit continue and then we're just going to name the campaign um, whatever you want i like the name of the product so i could name it just gaming headset and like broad and then we're going to uncheck display network and we're just going to use search network 
and then come down here and I normally start with targeting in the United States however if you want to target all countries you can or you can do the US and Canada or any specific location you want so this is where you would edit your location geo targeting and then we can target by language as well so you definitely want to keep English on here if your store is in English and then this is where we can add audiences to our campaign if we already have some remarketing audiences and uh, set up and stuff so this is where we can set up retargeting but we're not going to do that now and then down here for the budget uh, for Google Ads you can just set it at ten dollars to get some initial data now I prefer to start out with fifty dollars per day on a Google search ad but you can do it with ten dollars it's just going to take you a little bit longer to get the data you're looking for and for bidding here I'm going to select a bid strategy directly and I'm going to click manual CPC because I think manual bidding works the best when it comes to search ads and then I'm going to keep help increase conversions checked and then right here we have ad extensions so um, these are going to be uh, these things that show up down here so I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of those so site link extensions are going to be what these are down here so you could add uh, an extension that's like contact us and your shipping and returns and you want to go ahead and utilize these ad extensions because what it does is it just makes your ad bigger and takes up more screen space and the more screen space that it takes up uh, the more likely it is that somebody's going to click your ad but you don't want to go too crazy with this and make it look absolutely ridiculous and have it like be a novel or something like that so you can just link to like your contact page, your FAQ page, your shipping page, and I already have some here in this demo account, but you can go ahead and just click new, and you would name your page right here, so like sample page, and then you would just put the URL right there. So with that, we're going to go to call out extensions next. So for our call out extensions, where they would go is they would just end up being out here after the description. It doesn't look like um, this ad is using any call out extensions. Maybe I can find one that is. Um, yeah, it looks like these are a lot of call out extensions. So free text support, track your order, gooseneck microphone, crystal clear voice, safe and secure ordering. So yeah, these all look like call out extensions here. They're essentially just small bullet points that go at the end of your description here so you can see I have a couple demo ones here 30% off free shipping so if you offer free shipping that's always an easy one to put and if you're offering a sale you can put that in there as well and then for call extensions I usually don't mess with that and then we can go to save and continue so now at this point what we are going to do is first insert our main keyword in here now there's a couple ways that we can do it we can match our types right here by putting in let's say if we put in gaming headset but we just type in gaming headset and nothing else it's going to be a broad match which means that we are going to be shown for a lot of people that aren't just searching gaming headset but a bunch of different things that are related to gaming headset so broad match is usually a little bit too broad and i don't like it very much and if you go like this and put these on each end we can make it an exact match so with an exact match this means we're only going to show up for people that search this keyword now sometimes this is a little bit too narrow and you can miss out on people that are searching really related terms but don't type in this exact search phrase or maybe they even had a typo so what i like to go with is phrase match right here so i put it in the quotations and then we could put in some of the other keywords we found earlier as well so like gaming headset pc gaming headset ps4 now the keyword research and everything the keywords are going to vary um, a lot depending on which product you're selling and things like that so it's always good to test out the broad keyword and then test out some long tail keywords as well and then once your campaign's up and running you'll be able to see you know which keywords are getting clicks for you know the cheapest calls per click which keywords are actually converting which keywords may be getting clicks but not sales and so on and so forth 
So what we can go ahead and do now is we need to enter a default bid. So I'm gonna set this at one really quickly and now we can see our estimates over here. So we can see that based on these keywords we put in here, our average cost per click is going to be 73 cents, 14 clicks a day. So what I like to do is mess around with the bid and see how high we can get the clicks. So if I lower it down to 0.8, you can see our estimated clicks is 17. If I lower it down to 0.7, our estimated clicks is 19. If I lower it down to 0.5, our estimated clicks is 26. Now, one disclaimer, when you do lower your default bid really low, your estimated clicks may go up, but the quality of traffic as well may go down. So you may get more clicks, but you may get people that are less likely to buy. So while you do want to see uh you want to maximize the amount of clicks you can get at the same time uh, you don't want to go insanely low because then you're going to be getting extremely low traffic but just for the sake of this example i just would want to see and yeah so see once we get down and you put it too low you can see that your estimated clicks get extremely low so depending on the keywords um your number is going to vary a lot so you can't just you know bid 10 cents because at one point you're going to be bidding too low and you're gonna miss out on a lot of clicks. So as you can see, we can go back up to 0.5 and then we have a good amount of clicks per day. So this is what I would go with in this specific scenario. You have to mess around with that. And you can use the auto bid if you want, but I just prefer manual bidding. I like to have more control. So at this point, we just need to create the ad itself. So the first thing we need to do is grab our product URL and we're going to throw that right in here. And then we can do a headline right here. So we would just put in something like a product name. So like, let's say text space gaming headset. So we can see that that's the first bit of our headline right here. And then headline two could be like, free shipping on all orders and then headline three is something to where you know if you want to type in another one it's another headline normally I just use the first two headlines and then our path right here our display path is just what the site is so you can just keep it like that or you can put like slash like headset if you want to make it like a little bit more related and then in our description here, we can just type a brief description um, about the product or just put something that's going to entice somebody to click. So we can just, for example, put something like our top of the line gaming headset is now on sale. And then description two is just essentially another sentence you can see the descriptions are pretty short so 90 so we can put in two descriptions if we like so just what you need to keep in mind is with google search ads the most important thing is getting a click and the biggest tip that i can give you is you want to make sure that you're advertising in the uh, want pizza get pizza mentality and what i mean by that is you want to make sure your ad is showing something that's exactly what the person is searching for so if you're if they're searching for a gaming headset you want to make sure that your ad is blatantly saying this is a gaming headset you know like they don't want to search for a gaming headset and see a gaming mouse so you want to make sure that you are creating your ad that's telling the person telling the viewer this is exactly what you're searching for so with google you want to be as targeted as possible so if they're searching for a gaming headset you want your ad to say you know this is a gaming headset and then you want your landing page to be a gaming headset you want it to be very direct want pizza get pizza and then at this point we can see that we have our ad created we can see our ad extensions that we put in down here we can see the page pages that we added in at the bottom and then you would just hit save and continue and then at this point we would be good to go and we could just hit continue to campaign and it would go ahead and be up and running so with that said that is how simple it is to go ahead and create a new google search ad campaign for your e-commerce products 
if you'd like further tutorials on Google Ads, like campaign management, more in-depth videos on keyword research, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.